Could Good you evening. tell me uh, why you are here? Uh, we are here uh, since uh, December 12th uh, to, uh, to ask for uh, our basic uh, uh, human rights. For, uh, they are basically, they are not actually uh, wants or demands, they are just uh, regular rights of uh, just uh, asking the country uh, or the NTC uh, to be transparent with, uh, with the Libyan population and uh, solve all the problems of the Libyan population. Uh, but by not being transparent, uh, the issues become uh, bigger and uh, you can see what happened uh, yesterday in the uh, NTC Council. It was attacked by people um, that, uh, that no one listened to their demands. Uh, although, uh, like I said, they're not demands, they're actually rights of the people. Uh, when you have wounded people um, uh, asking to be uh, treated uh, in hospitals or being paid for going into this, uh, uh, this uh, war, uh, I think it is a right, it's not, uh, it's not a demand for them. Um, uh, the, the most important thing now to get this country back on the road and this is my advice to uh, any member of the NTC or uh, any uh, decision maker in the country is uh, the law. We must, we, must, we must start the courts and start the law system and uh, we must uh, have uh, all laws including uh, the basic laws of traffic uh, laws or um, uh, commerce laws or uh, anything, uh, we have to start uh, the court system very quickly to get this country out of what we are in now. Uh, the, the, the main thing I am saying again is transparency. The NTC must come out and they must tell us what they can do with these rights, not demands. There are 80 rights and they should be increased. I think they should, they should be a lot more than that. But for now, they should come out and they should tell us uh, what they're going to do about these demands. Uh, which ones they can uh, do, which ones they cannot do, and why. And uh, uh, when they can do the, uh, the other ones. Uh, otherwise, believe me, the situation will become more explosive, which we don't want. Are you coming every day here to yes, Shajar Square? Yes, I am here every day now, for about 40 days now. Why? From the 12th, because I believe I believe my country needs um, needs these uh, demands to become a good country. I, I believe in this. Otherwise, I will not be here. I have not seen uh, my kids in uh, 40 days now because I come home there sleeping every night. But it is the least we can do. We must be heard. You must hear us. We must be heard. Uh, the, I, I, I go on and stress on the fact that the solution for this whole ordeal is transparency. Please be clear with the Libyan people. The Libyan people are very smart people. If you are clear with us, we will understand, we will back you, and we will not, we will not uh, be against you. But if you are not clear with us, um, I believe the situation can become a lot worse. What do you what what do you think about uh, what's happening last Saturday against the council? I mean the attack. Let's say attack this against is, the council. Uh, this is uh, this is of course because uh, no one is listening to uh, the people. No, the, we have been here 40 days now. We are just a part of uh, a few people that don't like what's going on in Benghazi. We are just one part, Medan Shajara. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, is, but that, is that a good thing or no, bad No, I things? don't believe it is a good thing, but I believe it is something that, uh, that was imposed on the people because uh, no one heard them and they insisted on being heard. And uh, this, was the, the, uh, this was the easiest way to be heard. I believe it, uh, it is wrong, but uh, I also believe that people have rights that should be listened to. Um, what are you waiting for? from the council after the attack? I'm, I am hoping that the council will again, I'm saying the same word now 20 times, transparency is the key to the Libyan situation. The problem in Libya is transparency. We don't know who the NTC is. Every day we're hearing different names. The last I know was 60 
when we demanded about uh, three weeks ago from here, Medan Shajara, and we demanded that we should know the names of the council, they, they gave us papers uh, that said that the members were 61. And uh, yesterday on TV, they had a live interview with uh, two of the NTC members, and they asked them, how many are you? And uh, actually, uh, they said 80. Yeah, uh, 80, yes. Uh, it was two of them. One of them is Ganana, and another one, I, I don't know who he is. They were on uh, Al-Hurra TV, I think. Yeah. Uh, and when the, when, the, when the commentator asked them, uh, do you know the 80 people? Um, unexpectedly, they answered uh, no. And they, they meet with them, and they, uh, I'm sure that they know. Them. One of them actually went as far as saying that I know some of them just by their first name. I don't think that is the NTC we want. We should be very clear. The Libyan people should know who is in the NTC, what is their job exactly, and their job is to let the government work. That is the job of the government. Their job is only a supervisor. That's it. Just make sure that the government is doing their work properly. But, uh, but uh, uh, my advice again to the NTC is be transparent with the people. The Libyan people will understand if you are clear with them. If you are not clear with them, you expect anything. What's your name? Salah al -Haddar. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to say something for uh, the council. Yeah, I'm saying, uh, or exactly, is uh, like a question. I want to say, the first time, the first time in my life, I see glass without transparency. This is an uh, amazing thing. It's, you know, like you, you can put it in Guinness or you put it uh, glass without transparency. Imagine that. This is the only thing I want to say it from here, from Benghazi. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Could you tell me why you are here in Shajara Square? Well, uh, at first, uh, I am just a citizen, a simple one, looking for my rights. You see, well, at the first time that I am came here, and I'm seeing these requests, they are, this, uh, they, these are our needs. Uh, in fact, it's my, 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 own, my own rights, especially the, the first third one of them. And after that, uh, I had, I had, I had something. Uh, uh, at the first time when I, when I came, I had something, or I, I, I mean, that's, uh, I, there is an accident. Uh, I had it here uh, because uh, because I um, I'm meeting with a few a few of them. Uh, seeing, they are seeing something. There is, uh, there is, there is, a, there is a small, a small story after, uh, before, uh, before it, because I was, I was a fighter at the medical service, uh, medical service. Okay, it's a small group, and uh, uh, I had, uh, I had, uh, uh, I had been meeting one of them there, and he told me that uh, we should be going to Tripoli to uh, to looking for talking for the national, uh, the, our uh, national com uh, com council, and uh, I w we will, uh, we will, we will ask him about our requests. But I tell him no, because I still agree with the council. Now, so, now, uh, I saw him, and he told me this. I, I mean, the, this, this is the, uh, the first, uh, the first day that I came here. He told me, you are was beside the council. Why you are now beside against them? So I told them because they are don't need me as a citizen. They are don't need us. They are looking for something else, such as uh, the personality. Yeah, I need an example of yes. rights. One of them is the uh, uh, is the the, uh, the humanity, you see, the dignity that I still haven't. I still haven't here. I still haven't at my job. I still haven't at my street, at my own street, because there is there is there is no uh, there is no safety at all. And 
there is a lot of guns. There is a lot of uh, uh, insanity between the people at the street. You see, because they are one of them tell, tell me that we need a lot of money, we need a lot of, a lot of jobs, we need a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, houses or uh, so I tell them. It's just a human rights. It's a human rights. But you should be looking for your citizen rights. You need a save. You need safety. You need, you need, you need to, be, to be working at save. To uh, going, uh, going to, to uh, your, your, uh, your children should be going to school at save. Uh, you need to work at, at many uh, special uh, specialities you see what uh, right now right now uh, we haven't the right track we still haven't the right track so that uh, we are still we are still right now asking our national uh, uh, council to make our truth our truth to make it at, uh, at the reality. We need to see it again. Okay, let me uh, ask you another question. Um, what do you think what, about what's happened last Saturday against the council, uh, the attack? What do you think about it? Uh, unfortunately, it's a disaster. Believe me, it's a disaster. Because at first, it's a pressure. <coughs> So after that, is that good thing or bad things? It's bad things for us and for them because it's a pressure. So you should be had an explosion. And if you are uh, standing beside a volcano, what you had, you should be had a lava. So it's just a lava. It's just a lava. Small one. Thank you. Uh, can you tell me uh, what's your name? It's Ahmed. Engineer Ahmed bin Tahar. Thank you, Ahmed. Don't mention it. I have to see you again. Healthy one.